What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 54 of Autodesk Fusion. Today we're going to be taking that Pythagorean cup and we're going to be creating a section view of that um, object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my object, take my design, I'm going to click on File, New Drawing, and From Design. So we're going to take a new drawing of this design. I'm not quite sure where this rectangle is popping up from. I'm having some kind of small glitching errors using Fusion right now, and I don't know if there's something on my end, but I do know that it doesn't affect my end product overall. So I'm going to do is I'm going to click on New Drawing, and we're going to do uh, in millimeters. So if you're in my class, we already have a template for inches. We have a template for millimeters. And here we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on and add my base view. I don't like how big that cup is, so what we're going to do is we're going to change that scale factor. And we're going to make it just a little bit larger. And then click OK. Now, this is a very interesting object, and it's kind of very difficult to understand what's going on. So what I'm going to do actually now is I'm going to change this and make it a shaded view. So I'm going to double click, make it a shaded view. I think it looks a little bit nicer. And now let's make a cross section of this object. So I'm going to click on section view, click on what I'm going to make a section view of. And then you see my cursor has got a little A with a line through it. Now what I'm going to do is draw a line. If I were to take a saw and cut through this object, that's where it's going to be cutting through. If we were to then take that half and kind of unfold it, what would that look like? So I'm going to hit, we hit click once at the top, once at the bottom, right click, continue. And there is my section view. I am having a little bit of issues, like I was saying, with those visual things. Um, you can see the graphics right here don't look quite right. I found out if I just change the pattern uh, to a different one, it came out all right. So we can tell that this is a cross section. You can see uh, that those shaded areas tell where it's been a cross section at. And we can kind of see how Pythagorean's cup works. So as I add liquid to this cup, if you add too much liquid, what happens is you create a siphon in the middle and all the liquid gets pulled out of the cup and through the stem and it spills everywhere. The cup works totally fine if you do not fill above like kind of the halfway-ish mark. Other than that, it's totally normal cup. So to prevent people from overfilling the cup, you, uh, you can kind of give this instead. I might try to make something where I'm going to do kind of a bit by bit and kind of maybe disassemble it, have an assembled version of Pythagorean's cup to show as a demonstration in class. Um, so we'll see. If I end up doing that, I'll make a video over that and I'll show you how it goes, uh, hopefully if it worked. Until then, I'll catch you on the next video.